is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Air and another what the truck and uh, boy do we have a what the truck for you here so in our last video you guys saw Antonio the guy that I bought this from he drove it down from all the way Massachusetts to Miami he had a little bit of trouble but we didn't really show you the entire truck so in this video we're gonna actually walk around we're gonna show you this entire thing as you can see it is massive and uh, I guess let's just get right on into it so Right over here is a 1979 Ford L700. This is a massive, massive truck. Back in the day, this was used as a toter home and uh, probably had like a stacker trailer behind it. It went to all kinds of races. And uh, back a few years ago, it was bought by the guy that I got it from. And uh, he said it was exactly the way that we see it right now. And all he did was use it, enjoy it. And uh, eventually it became time for him to sell it. And I bought it. So we can start just from front to back. Something that I think is really cool, from the front shot, it looks like a 1979 F100. It's just massive. It's got the square headlights. It's got the same looking grills, just bigger and wider and broader. And then something that I thought was cool is it's got the blue oval. A lot of the trucks from 79, I've never really seen the blue oval on it. So to me, that's something that's really cool. And uh, let me show you guys what's under the hood. So to pop these hoods, it's pretty easy. It just has like a little flip lever on each side. So you lift up on this piece and then you pull back and that's it. Then this cool scoop has a purpose. So under the hood or under the whatever that's called front end, we got a 460 big block with a five speed. It's got a four barrel carburetor on it. Um, everything is fresh but it's not perfect by any means but it did just drive 1500 miles and I've been driving it for the last couple of days I actually have a feeling that while we started making this video the fuel pump gave out because the truck doesn't want to turn on right now but uh, hopefully it's not the fuel pump but if it is it's right over here and he had to change it on the uh, on the trip so it's simple like that's what's cool about all these old trucks is when something breaks you can just get to it it's all right over here you know and um, moving over this is where you fill up both it's got two fuel tanks so first tank here second tank over here uh, right here this is actually kind of cool so this is where you fill up the air over here it's got a little air pressure tank and then that's for the air horns that are all the way up on top and then let's bring you guys into the interior so inside is uh, it's a party and basically it looks a lot like a uh, like a big rig and I think it's super cool so it's got a Onan Cummins Onan gas generator uh, all the gauges work everything on the dash lights up like it should so over here we got rpm different signals here's the heat gauges oil pressure battery speedometer temp fuel and then over here we got vacuum he said this is a better temp gauge so i use this one instead and then this is a better oil gauge so i use this one and uh he put a forever sharp steering wheel on it it's got like new ish seats um they're pretty comfy and then i'll grab this so the camera guy can get comfy and then over here this is like uh i guess this is just part of the cabin so what the reason why i really like this is this is where my kids can hang out so while i'm driving this is where they could sit they could play games maybe i'll install a tv this turns into a bed this turns into a bed and then back here is where the fun is so this is like a basically now it's like a full rv so it's got a nice bed set up um obviously i'm going to redo everything but what i think is cool is that it's got the bones they redid all the walls they redid the roof they redid the lighting they redid the floors it's got this cute kitchen with you know some live edge and stuff i mean not necessarily what I would have done but it's already here and it's cool everything works as you can see I mean look we even got air conditioning hold on boom AC works breezy will get breezed down a little bit and uh, over here is the bathroom so it's actually not so bad which I was surprised because usually bathrooms in these things are not super nice this is actually kind of big it's like a full-size shower I mean for reference, I'm six foot three and I fit, you know, I mean, the shower head's shorter than me, but I can do it. You know, when you need to get the top, 
guys get the idea. And then toilet's fairly nice and clean. And it's actually pretty big. I mean, for RV, this is very nice in size. And then we exit right over here. So this is the regular way to get out. And uh, it's a lot more comfortable when you walk out of the back. So overall, that's how she is. And then now I'll give you guys a little bit more of a tour of the outside. So let me grab my keys and uh, let's get these things opened up. Actually, let me turn the generator off first just so that way we don't burn any unnecessary fuel. There we go. All right. So, we'll start right over here. I probably could have had these unlocked already for you guys, but it's real life. So, on the first one, we have the generator. Right over here are the batteries. Uh, if I want to plug into shore power, I just disconnect this. Over here is the cord. The guy gave me all kinds of tools because he was on the road trip. Uh, I've got the original steering wheel, which I thought was cool. Probably gonna actually put that back because it's in good shape. Um, the truck's riding on 24.5s, which I love. So I just wanna get those polished. I might have to go see Frank at Red's and maybe have him do something crazier to them. And then this one is where the water stuff is. So as you can see over here, this is the fresh water tank. That's the gray water tank. Here's the little water pump. And uh, let's keep going. I was surprised that this wasn't like a, like a, something. Like it looks like you could put stuff in there. And I've seen a lot of them where, you know, the tops would lift up or something, but not that one. Probably gonna redo the back bumper, make it a little bit more useful. And then over here, this one has the instant water heater as you can see and then it has another gray tank and then he has wood so that way you know make a bonfire have some fun when you actually go camping and then this last one it's not locked because I believe that there was nothing really in it but it's just storage so that way you don't have to put all your luggage and everything up top you just have plenty of storage over here for whatever it is, all the windows work. Um, just so you guys get some cool shots. Right now, let's see, uh, see a little bit of drone footage. Oh, no. So I'm like, mechanic truck. Oh, I didn't know that. That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, that might help you. Yeah. So something people don't talk about is how much things break when you drive old stuff. So on the way down here, Antonio put, changed this one for the one that's sitting right over here for this one. And this one just took a poop on us and then randomly Ray pulled over and he had the exact same one literally in his truck. So now we're getting a soft wheel quick. He's a mobile mechanic. I mean, God works in mysterious ways. So I don't think we got the drones busted out yet, but we're definitely gonna in a second. Turns into stuff. You don't know what kind of content you're gonna make. I thought we were just making a pretty video. All right, guys, so I'm wet. It's been a few hours. The fuel pump took a poop. We changed the fuel pump to another one. That one wasn't good. We put another one on it. That one is good. Obviously, the truck's running again. And uh, 
for, I don't want to make this video drag on forever. I want to end it now. So if you guys can, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this thing? What should we do to it? And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything we do to this. We do it with the rest of our trucks. And we'll see you in the next video.